Hello beautiful Pisces and welcome to Intuitive Energies. My name is Jane and today we're going to be talking about the full moon in Pisces, which is also the harvest moon of September or the barley moon or the full corn moon. Whatever you want to call it, it is definitely a special moon. The harvest means the end of something, the completion of something. Um, I took out the card full moon in Pisces, balance spirituality and practicality, okay? For other signs who'd be in Pisces as a full moon, they'd really have to take a um, time to balance that energy because they wouldn't be accustomed to it because it's an emotional energy. There's a lot of emotions, but this is our energy field. This is the one we are used to. So we're going into our own energy field. It's time to let go of fears. It's time to complete what needs to be completed. It's wonderful. Even the Moonology uh, book says the same thing. Uh, it's because we are the last sign, the full moon in Pisces symbolically marks endings. So that means we're going to complete something and begin something new, okay? It's the ending to begin. So it says uh, it's time to dive deep into your emotions and practicality is at, at odds with the numinous Piscean energies that have no borders. So feel your way now. But as I've said, we are Pisces. We have no borders. This is our energy. It's wonderful, okay? It says our psychic ability is heightened. That's the other thing. And our intuition. So it's time to, it's great time to find soulmates. It's great time to uh, let decisions or your intuition guide your decisions. It's really good, okay? And it's also time to send out your dreams to the universe, releasing your fears or whatever no longer suits you, Pisces. We've been dealing with all these different issues through the month. The heart, we've cleared out the heart. If you've done the work last week, you can enter this full moon in Pisces with a wonderful new energy, okay? That's so important. I'm going to pull some more cards here. See what else Spirit has to say about all of this? Okay. Oh, full moon eclipse. I love this one. Conclusions are within reach. Like I said, time for a completion of things, okay? So you're going to reach an ending of something or a conclusion to something. And it doesn't require it to be bad. It doesn't require it to be um, a problem. Uh, in other words, it's like not a concluding like, okay, this is the end and in a bad way. It just could be that you have put the work in and now you're, you're hitting that apex, that crescendo, okay? You've just, you've hit that high. You've completed something, okay? So I love this. I also love the fact that these trees are barren and uh, you really feel the harvest, the yellows and the purple coming in. It feels like a Pisces harvest moon to me. I love it. Even though it says full moon eclipse, love it, okay? So you're definitely completing a cycle. Definitely completing, like I said, Pisces, we are the last sign. We're the 12th sign. We're the completion. So when this comes around, time to complete stuff. Time to get it done. And it's a great week to finish this off, okay? Because like I said, on the 27th, we start Mercury retrograde again. So get it all finished up and done, okay? There, your, committed, your commitment is being tested. First quarter moon. It's very interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay, so uh, I feel though in the last little while we have been preparing for that Pisces. If you've done, if you've looked at the readings in the last week or so, we've been really um, working on our heart chakra and releasing what no longer suits us. So I think that if you've done the work, you've passed with flying colors. If you haven't done so, if you haven't released all anger, resentment, guilt, whatever's festering in your heart, okay, even though you say I've walked away from a situation, but you kept it there, you haven't really um, done the work, and this was your commitment being tested. Because when you get a hit with this emotional 
uh, Pisces energy that's going to come in on Monday, if you haven't done the work, things might pop up that are just going to, you know, uh, heighten that. We know how we are if we are very, very emotional. And uh, yeah, so we're going to do that. I'm not going to look underneath the deck for this one because I kind of took out three to just take a look. I'm going to take some of the Moon Oracle, but I'm going to do that in the Extended Pisces. I do two readings a day. So if that interests you, please make sure to subscribe to that notification. Yes, I know. You do see it go by on the screen, but some of you just listen to the readings and you don't look at them. So that's why I'm repeating it now. All right, Pisces, here we go. I'm going to take a few cards out of the good to row here. As always, I'm here to empower you, to help you out, to find your own way in this world, Pisces. I'm not here to give you the answers. I'm here to let spirit just throw in some guidance your way so that you can get some help. Six of Fire, I love this. It's been coming out a lot in uh, in this deck and uh, I guess the last couple of readings and that's about victory okay that's you taking flight that's you getting your rewards that's you just uh, you know you're you are being you are going to have triumph and success okay and it's because you've worked hard at it you have made your way towards that success let me see here what else yeah you're, you're very much the role model here, okay? Because look at these other balloons here, okay? There's odd hair balloon all around here, but you, you don't have just a hot air balloon here, Pisces. You have a boat. You have, you have sails. You have odd air. You have everything. This is why you're the leader of the pack. You know how to use everything at your disposal to make things happen for yourself. I mean, all of them, they just got the little basket. You got the whole boat with the sails. You probably have the full kitchen and everything. Yeah, I know I'm being funny here, Pisces, but you know what I mean. You have it all. You just, you shine and you're up above the crowd because you just do it that way, okay? That's the way you are. And this really, I'm feeling right now with this card, just I usually don't. I feel that it's your time to shine. You are going into your energy in this full moon. So it's time for you to sit on that horse, okay? And be proud and have people going, Oh my God, look at Pisces. Excellent Pisces. Look at Pisces, okay? That's exactly, it is our time. It's your time to shine. Accept it gracefully. Don't be conceited about it. But, you know, give a quirky smile. Ride that horse to victory. Or that hot air balloon sailing ship to victory. And, you know, just enjoy it. Enjoy it. You deserve it. Okay. Let's see here. Okay. We have the Queen of Fire. I don't, not doing reverses today. Plus with this deck, I don't believe there are any. So the Queen of Fire, somebody who is popular. And that's what I was feeling very much. Okay. I was feeling a lot of popularity here. Um, my Queen of Fire, she's the most, I find that she is one of the most attractive of energies because she's mastered the art of being passionate and attractive. So being in your sign, being in your energy in the next couple of weeks, Pisces, or I know uh, full moons can last up to a month, six months. I've heard. Anyway, but for the time being, when we go into this full moon on Pisces, just let your energy shine through, okay? You're going to be very attractive to people, very much like the Queen of Fire. Um, dazzling is what I'm seeing. That's what I felt here, okay? Above the crowd. People are going to be attracted to you because it's going to be inside your sign. Plus, you're the, they're also going to be, um, all the other signs are going to be affected by this full moon and Pisces. So, you being comfortable inside of your sign and your attractiveness and your, your emotional uh, stability and beauty, they're going to be very attracted to you, okay? So, just remember that. They may be attracted to you, just your energy as a friend, as a lover, 
you name it. It's going to be a very uh, sexy kind of time, Pisces, okay? So just make sure uh, to put on your sexy shoes and your sexy jacket and whatever sexy, whatever makes you feel sexy. And just carry it around with you and let it shine. You have the Seven of Water here. Seven of Water is about choices. This will bring choices within your vista. But be careful. You might get stuck by having too many choices at this point, okay? I'm telling you, there's going to be things coming in now because you're just, you're in your energy. This is our forte, you know, our strong suit. So we, we thrive in this energy and it is time for us to just, you know, notice that it's time for fun. We've done a lot of hard work, so it's time for a little bit of fun in this new moon. But like I said, don't let it trip you up. Like I said, there's a lot of things that might come in and you're going, whoa, what is going on, okay? Ooh, it's coming in. Your commitment is being tested. Yeah, don't get lured by new choices when you have a really good committed um, commitment somewhere else, okay? Because this, this, it's not flash in the pan, but this heightened emotions, it's most likely not going to last. So just take it in stride, okay? Just, just, just take it for what it is. Enjoy the, enjoy the, 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 the firmament of it, and then move on to water, right? So that's what they're saying. Keep the harmony within your life. Don't go searching for trouble, I would say. <laughs> this is definitely coming in with this new moon energy, right? You feel sexy, you're walking around, you're getting attention. It's very uh, addictive. Just be careful, okay? So just be sure within yourself. Um, smile knowingly. Feel good within your energy. But keep it light, Pisces, okay? Keep it light. Keep it simple. Keep it good. <laughs> wow. So, very nice time. I feel the energy that this is going to feel very good to us. Which, let's face it, it's nice to feel good, right? Okay, so, Six of Water. This is my childlike inner child card. This is the one of reflection on the past. You may be reflecting on the person you used to be, okay? That that full-on Pisces, that young Piscean who had dreams and just, you know, just was carried away by their dreams. So this is very much a time of wistfulness. This is one of my favorite words. I used to be very wistful when I was young. And that is what's coming through to me right now. Um, so you might be just, you know, just... I don't know, just off in a cloud, but really well. Um, thinking of things in a very um, happy way. Just again, don't get too lost in there, okay? It's good to stay in the feeling, but it's good to also pull yourself back. Remember, this is a balanced spirituality and your emotions with practic with practicality, okay? Four of Earth, you have the control and possessive card, okay? Um, I'm feeling that. Ooh, okay. Um, yeah, I'm feeling that uh, you may attract some people who just are going to want... Is this coming in kind of weird, but I'll, I'll say it anyway. Uh, for some of you who are just putting out this beautiful energy, uh, people are going to want to monopolize your time. They want to control your... Um, your... Uh, wait a minute. Come here, come here. <laughs> the word came and then it went. Come back, come back. Okay, so they're going to want to control your time, your attention. I I'm feeling jealousy here. So they're going to want to monopolize your attention. That's it, monopolize. That's what I was getting from this, okay, with this Four of Pentacles. They're going to, somebody's going to try, and, uh, and, and I'm feeling like it's a friend. Somebody who's just, you know, they want, they want your attention 
to themselves. So just be careful with that. Like I said, these are like little, I like the way they're saying this. It's like, this is great energy, but you're going to be like riding high. And because other signs and other people are also in this energy and maybe not aware that it is affecting them so, uh, they're also going to have heightened Piscean type energy around them so this would be like like they're showing me when it comes to emotion and heart matters with the heart just be, just, just take it light okay this week <laughs> hmm interesting I'm also hearing with this two of water this could be a time that you guys would find someone okay so um, make sure to show these people your true self, not just this energy that we're in, right? Because this, this will bring you personal happiness and joy, the Nine of Water. It's going to make you feel very fulfilled and very blessed, okay? Well, who wouldn't be, right? When you're feeling attractive and just, you know, glowing and you're getting attention, feels very good Pisces okay but this is why we wanted to clear a lot of the stuff before we get to the new moon in Pisces because we want to keep control of our emotions we don't want to go all you know nuts okay so like I said people are going to be looking at you in different ways you might be surprised you know for some of you might be going wow really you thought of me that way you know or you might just be feeling friendships getting closer, okay? That doesn't mean it's romantic. You might be getting noticed at work as well, is what they're saying, for the work that you've done. Because remember, that heightened kind of energy makes people notice other people, right? So the passion is heightened. Everything is heightened, okay? Right, in new ways. The page of Earth, absolutely. So you're going to feel this energy, this this new situation that's going to come in. There's going to be new situations. A lot of choices. The seven of the earth is still there. Uh, seven of water, I'm sorry. Talking and saying, choices, choices. You're getting new choices. Okay. Very attractive now. You're going to be very attractive. <laughs> You'll be shining like the sun. Yeah. Okay. Not just the moon, the sun. Okay. Very nice. It's it's a very uh yeah, it's a very heightened energy. That's all I'm gonna say. Because that can turn to, like I said, this is a this is not just a happy tale, it's also a cautionary tale, Pisces. Remember, you're very attractive. And we can also get swept up in our own uh energy, so just be careful. Okay. It's fun when the rest of the world catches up to the way we feel, right? So just imagine that all the signs are now a little Pisces in this energy. So that's why we're going to feel in this world like we're going to connect more with people because they're in our energy, right? Right. For some, it's going to be good. For others, they won't know how to handle it, okay? Like I said, some people may end up being possessive because that's just, that's not their energy, right? So just, just let the wheel spin, let the energy come in, go from moment to moment and just flow through. We know how to flow through that energy, so just do it. You have the three of fire, right, okay? So there may be a few things that are going to get launched this week, okay, that are going to take movement. It could be career and relationships. This is what I'm seeing as the, the ending card for the new moon in Pisces. D not the new moon, I'm sorry, the full moon. <sighs> I feel like I'm tripping all over my words. I'm very excited because I feel like this is such a wonderful type energy deal that we're going into. It's so exciting to be in our own... Uh, energy in Pisces full moon especially the harvest moon is my favorite moon of the year so I'm thoroughly excited about this uh, so yeah I plan to totally be the extra little vixen to my husband this month 
absolutely and uh, drive him nuts uh, because he's an earth sign he doesn't know how to handle Pisces energy and that's good because I'm in a relationship so we can have a lot of fun um, I'm wishing you guys the same 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 um, actually like I said there's nothing to worry here just be careful a lot of choices are going to be coming in towards you okay you're going to be very attractive and people are going to want to follow you and there may be there will be a lot of opportunities for harmony business career love relationship whatever you want in this new moon you're going to feel very young at heart inner child beautiful energies coming through careful some people are going to want to like i said grab attention and grab your time and manipulate your energy okay because they want to be near you and they want you to themselves uh it could be anybody it could even be bosses at work you have to be careful with that it's just not that they're going to attack you that's not what i mean but i mean just people trying to get you in their circle okay they're not going to want to share that's what i'm basically saying the nine of water though is promising that you're going to have a lot of chances for blessings to come into you okay a lot of new situations a lot of clarity okay and maybe some things that you wanted uh, a conclusion or a, a, an answer you're going to be getting it this this in this energy and with the three of fire you're going to be definitely launching something so reach for it if you're sure of it because pisces like i said you want to get that done before the 27th all right so i'm going to come back and do some clarification later on the extended very sexy reading you guys ooh, ooh, ooh. nice I like it. I love it. Uh, and uh, you know what? If you have nobody that you can be sexy with, be sexy to yourself. Treat yourself. Be luxurious within your energy, Pisces. You deserve it. So I will see you later. I'm sending you lots of love, light, and blessings. And take care of yourself, Pisces. See you soon. Bye.